let's take a look at the team lineups, starting with David Gray's Hibernian lineup. Goes with Joseph Bursich and goals, Chris Cadden, Marvin Ekpeteta, Warren O'Hora, who will wear the captain's armband today, Jordan Abita, Yoku Kwon, Nectar Triantis, Mikola Kukarevich, Rudy Molotnikov, Nick Cadden, and Eli Yuan. They can be getting their faces nice and early, and he's done that. Molotnikov picks up there, drives forward. Chance here for Hibbs. Oh, just dragged wide there by Nick and Cadden. Quick feet there to get himself away from. Quant. Borsic holds that one well. Some strike from Nicky Clark, well dealt with by the Hibs keeper. Like to see if there's any opportunities arise to break down the St John's. Kim Pionka gets on to his left foot. No shooting opportunity. Dre White, Dre right out to Smith. Good effort. We're going to be a pressing team then from front to back. You know, we have to be a lot tighter than that we were there. That's better though. Cadden wins it well for Milotnikov. Good feet again. Brilliant. Lovely ball for Chris Cadden. It's towards the oh. byline, cuts it across goal. And St Johnson somehow managed to keep the ball in play. Much Triantis better position. Though for Come on, that was a decent effort. And it was a measured effort. Didn't blast it, just tried to curl it inside the far post with the left foot. Just a foot or so wide. St Johnson keeper Sinclair rooted to the spot. Bundled out the road, but... Uh, Abita helps the play on. Cadden's ball oh. in a decent one, just a fraction too close to the keeper is Kukarevic. And that's what starts happening when that ball's dropping in behind. Defenders don't want to keep running back towards their own goal. That's oh, nice for Kukarevic. Tries to the edge of the box, gets the shot oh. away just wide. Oh. Takes a deflection off a Saints defender, though Hibbs will have the corner. That's better, but this allows it to continue. Eli Yuan couldn't find his man. Chance here for Nicky Clark. Great block by Marvin Ekpateta. Cadden clips the ball into the area. Eli oh. Yuan was there. Just a fraction too high for the Frenchman. I think he was stretching everything he had at that. But a minimum of two additional minutes to be added. Nicky Cadden clips the ball into the area. Goes to the back post area. Ekpateta oh. gets there a chance. It's in yes. the net. Hibs have the opener. Mikola Kukarevic. On the stroke of half time, gives Hibbs the lead. And I think the big man took at least two St Johnson players out there. Well, that, Strangler and the goalkeeper. <laughs> That's what you want though, you know, having a desire to put that ball in the back of the net. There's a great ball floated towards the back post that, to be honest, Marvin probably had no right winning. There's two St Johnson players there, but he does win it. He heads it back into a real dangerous area. And then we bundle it over. I spoke about it before the game. Doesn't matter how the ball goes in the back of the net. Let's make sure we do get it in the back of the net, and it's brilliant. That's it. Well, as I say, the big man stuck to his task there. Hoylet puts it in the right foot towards the back post. Egg potato, cross oh. goal, chance. Quan hits. Oh, he was leaning back, and it fires it high over the crossbar. That was a chance, Marvin. Yeah, real massive, massive chance. Again, it's that man, Marvin, at the back post, you know, using whatever he can to get it back across the face of goal. And I don't think anyone else expected that to happen, if I'm yeah. honest. And that's why yep. St. Johnson managed to get that first contact. But it comes out to the edge of the box, and it's the man of his capabilities. You expect him to at least be hitting the target from there. Opportunity here. Yeah. Nicky Clark won't fancy that matchup. Balls into centre there. Oh. Kukarevic up there. Finds a beater. Clip down the line. Josh Campbell is in behind Nielsen. Cuts it across goal. Kukarevic. Good touch. Oh, he just lifts it too high. It's a lovely ball in from Josh Campbell and good feet from Nikola Kukarevic. The left footed effort just a fraction too high. Yeah, so unlucky. Great build up play. Josh Campbell again using his body down the left hand side. Let's it run across the face of him. Then he gets in behind and he, he has the ability to then pick him out. And it's a great first touch. A couple of step overs. He just gets it onto his left foot, gets half a yard. He probably goes for power over placement there, yeah. doesn't he? Get out to him. Can't let him have the shot. Holds it up well. Chance oh, here now, up. giving away to Martin Boyle. Oh, oh, just needed to find the gap. He did the second time. Kukarevic, can he get there ahead of the keeper? He can't. That's great work by St Johnson's oh, goalkeeper, no, Sinclair. Lucky as well. Another player with a point to prove, so we need to keep him quiet when he does come on the pitch. 
pushing forward down the far side. Cadden, lovely ball through for Martin Boyle. He's inside, He's inside the area, chance wow. here. And Martin Boyle with a lovely dink over the goalkeeper gives Hibbs the 2 0 lead in the 72nd minute. What a finish that is, what a ball, what a run. We've spoken about it all day the forward runs and this joint in the St Johnson's the defence, and it just happens there. Brilliant. Martin Ball sees the space, makes the run, but then the ball has to come. It's a perfect ball. And he's lucky he scored that, by the way, because yeah. it was on all day to be squared, wasn't it? That but was it. You kind of thought to yourself, he's got to be confident here, dinking it over the goalkeeper because Nikola Kukarevic is all alone on the six yard line. Yeah. But you can't question the finish. Quality. Well, actually, last season at Sterling and, and training at St Johnson to keep himself full time after getting released from Rangers. Yeah. So just have to be careful on the counter. Good work from Josh Campbell. Gets the shot away. Fumbled by Sinclair, but gathers at the second attempt alongside him. Held in nicely. Oh, lovely ball reverse back into the path of Josh Campbell. Clipped into the area. Lovely ball across by Obita. Hibbs. They get the corner. The ball didn't go out. McCurdy kept it in play. Martin Boyle. Does he get the shooting opportunity? He does. Oh, just wide of the near post. Borsic with the free kick from the edge of his own area. Goes down this near touch line. Hoyle nods it forward. And McCurdy nods it back into Hoylett's path. Oh, what a great effort from Junior Hoylett. Just wide again of Sinclair's near post. Pull back and again, he'd probably be disappointed with himself if he didn't hit the target. Official attendance at today's game, 15,448. And they've seen not a bad encounter. Decent performance from Hibbs. Good work from Ek Pateta again up against. Oh, Kempionka is going to be in trouble now. He's going to be in real trouble. The referee's gone for the top oh. pocket. Out comes the red card. I, I think that I think that could be looked at, Cliff. Again, I, I yeah. might have said this wrong. It's not too far from us, but I think he slides in front of Jordan Abita, and Abita's been extremely experienced there. Nick Walsh has seen enough, brings the proceedings to an end. Hibs have the three points. It finishes here at Easter Road, Hibs 2, St Johnson 0. Goals from Mikola Kukarevic, just on the stroke of half time in the first half. And Martin Boyle with an exquisite dink with the goalkeeper in the 72nd minute, gives Hibs the three points.